the set P given in set builder notation form as X such that X is less than 5. Q X such that X is greater than 2 and X is less than 7. And then the set R is a set of odd numbers. The set P, Q and R are subsets of the inversal sets with elements 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. We want to find P union Q all intersection R prime. The first thing that we have to do in here is to list the elements in each of the sets that is set P, set Q, and then set R. Now we cannot go beyond the inversal set. Okay, can't go beyond the inversal set. So if we need the set of elements in set P, and it's saying that it is the elements that are less than five. Then we go back to the inversal set. Then we look for elements that are less than five. We can see that two is less than five, three, and then four. They are all less than five. Okay. We not adding five to it because it didn't say that it is less than or equal to. It says that it is less than five. The set Q also comparing it to the inversal set two is not part of the set of elements in the set q because we're saying that x is greater than two three is greater than two four is greater than two five and then six they are all greater than two but we're saying that at the same time they are all less than what seven now let's look at the set R. The set R is the set of odd numbers. Going back to the inversal set, set of odd numbers are numbers that cannot be divided by two. Okay. When we divide it by two, we're going to get a remainder. So let's take note of that. Three cannot be divided by two without a remainder. We're going to get a remainder in there. So it's an odd number. We have five. It's also an odd number. Seven is an odd number. And then nine is an odd number from the set of universal sets because we said from the beginning that we cannot go beyond the universal sets. Okay. It is the sets that is under consideration. Good. From the question that we need to solve, we have to find the complement of R. The complement of R is the set of elements in the inversal set but cannot be found in the set R. So we're going to compare the elements in the set R to the elements in the inversal set. And then the ones that are in the inversal set but cannot be found in the set R will form the complement of the set R. You can see that 2 is not found in the set R. So it is part of the complement. 4 is also part. 6, 8. They cannot all be found in the set R. Okay. But they can be found in the inversal set. So that will form R complement. We know that if we have brackets with respect to any mathematical question, we have to tackle what is in the bracket first. So let's go ahead and find P union Q. Union means that we put in all the elements in the set P and then the set Q together. But we are also being mindful that we will not repeat the numbers that are common to both sides twice, okay? So let's take it that three is common to P at the same time Q. We are not going to write three two times. We're just going to write it once. Okay, so let's see. We have two, we have three, we have four, we have five, and then we have six. So that ends the union of P and then Q. 
the next tennis we're going to find the intersection of p union q with r complement okay with r complement so the intersection that means common elements in r complement and then the union of p and q so that will give us the final answer so p union q intersection r prime so the intersection of r prime and then the union in here we have two two is common we have four five is not common but we can see that six is common to both sides so six so that completes the elements in p union q intersection r prime okay now let's go back to our question and we see the correct answer good so the correct answer in there is what is c the correct answer is c if this is the first time of reaching this channel press the subscription button to subscribe and press the notification bell so that you will be updated on any new videos you can click the channel name to go through the playlists and watch more of these tutorials on q a